What's up guys? This is Shannon. Yo! <laughs> She's not doing anything in this video. Today we are replacing the windshield on the Poop Civic. That's my buddy Connor. He's helping out. I don't know how to do this. He does. So we're gonna get going taking the trim off around the windshield. So we gotta take off the side trim. He's already got that side off. And I'm gonna take off the wipers in this cowl so that we can get to the bottom of the windshield. So right now you're just cutting the... Cutting the excess off so that the line can get underneath it. Okay. Otherwise it'll slip out and be a pain in the butt. How many windshields do you personally change in a day? In a single day? Yeah, like on average. I'm sure some of them about suck eight. really bad. I'm gonna say on average about eight. eight. Long day, 11. What's this thing called? This is, we call it an easy wire. It's a windshield removal tool. The easy way instead of using like a hand wire or right. a cold knife. I've only seen people use like the hand wire. I've never seen this before. This thing looks sweet. No way. And then it just pulls the whole wire through the windshield. That's crazy. That's so much easier than doing it manually. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna say sometimes a cold knife's easier, sometimes hand wire's easier. Like a Jeep Wrangler, you're wasting your time doing this. Just grab your hand wire. Are they, they're just easy? A Jeep Wrangler, the last one I did took me seven minutes. Wow. Is it, is, it, is that why you said let's see if we'll get lucky? I mean this side is going though. This is going to take us a little bit. Okay. Well these guys will get the gist. We'll do uh... Time lapse. You might say that this windshield's fucked. Yep, just a little. Okay, so here's the car with the no windshield. Here's my new sick headliner. That's pretty rusty up there. Yeah, we're gonna get the vacuum first. There's the windshield. It's definitely got some rust. Why do you think the window's shaped like that? Like that's what Hondas do. Like even till modern day, that's what they look like. Is it is it for a reason or is not, <laughs> not that I know. Of. <laughs> hey, 
Thanks God for doing this. I'm still trying to decide what we're going to do with that rust. Yeah. The rust is pretty bad. It's a whole. It's a. It's a hole. It's a whole hole. <laughs> That's so bad. Yeah, it's real bad. The last time I did something that looked like that, it was a dump truck just on the road, actually. Really? I mean, honestly, we're just gonna send it. Yeah, I've got an idea. in the rust hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely not how you're supposed to do it, but, you know. That's all right. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I really don't understand why they shaped the window that way. Yeah, and this and most Hondas have two beads at the bottom. They have two lines of urethane at the bottom. Really? Yeah. It's because it's such a structurally integral part of the window, or part of the vehicle. Like, if we went to drive this without the windshield, the be all floppy. So here's the window all back together. Oh no. This guy came off. Or we didn't put it back on. I better get another one of those, that's gonna rust. Anyway, got this thing back together. Clips back in. Everything's good along here. And that's gonna be the end of this video. So I went back and forth on whether or not I was actually gonna record this video, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to see the process of that being professionally changed. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.